A Jamaican guy enters a restaurant and while sitting at his table he notices a gorgeous woman sitting at another table alone. He calls the waiter over and asks for a bottle of the most expensive champagne to be sent over to her knowing that if she accepts it she will be his. The waiter gets the bottle and quickly takes it over to the young lady saying that it's from the gentleman. She looks at the champagne and decides to send a note back to the Jamaican. The note reads, For me to accept this bottle, you need to have a Mercedes in your garage, a million in the bank and nine inches in your trousers. After reading this note, the Jamaican sends back a note of his own. It reads, Just so you know, I have a brand new Benz and a brand new Bima park up in my yard and I have over 10 million in the bank but nobody and me mean nobody now I'm gonna make me cut three inch half a what in my pants so you can just send back the champagne He spun around alerted by the impact of the door against his side. I gestured apologetically and entered heading towards the concierge area. The customer service agent hit me with an engaging smile and had me entranced for a minute. I stepped forward, looking down at a sign beside her. I immediately started to imagine things about her that had nothing to do with my business. She spoke softly and I was quickly drawn back to reality. I asked her to check my account for a deposit in which she stretched out, out her hand for my information card. Her hand was petite and delicate looking with soft hairs lying subtly on her skin. It made me look at the sign again. Her nails were impeccably done with a deep blue tone and white tips to complement her uniform. She wrote the balance, smiled and returned my card. I joined the line behind a lady in a bright yellow dress talking loudly on her phone. Taking another glance at the sign beside the customer service agent, I burst into a grin. A man who leaned on the counter noticed my actions and must have read my thoughts. We both laughed aloud, looking at the sign which now touched the lady's foot. Nobody paid us much mind. Believing that we were just old friends greeting each other. He turned, completed his transaction, and stuffed a bundle of notes into his pocket. Pulling up his pants, he took a look towards the front desk at the sign, then burst into a raucous laughter which trailed him outside the door. After getting through, I thanked the teller noted the time and headed out the door my mind ran back to the sign and i read it out mentally thinking how we view signs differently and find such humor in everything written i smiled with much anxiety and was a bit curious as to what the sign slippery when wet meant An elderly Jamaican man lay dying in his bed. While suffering the agonies of impending death, he suddenly smelled the aroma of his favorite Jamaican pastry, Gizada. Wafting up the stairs, he gathered his remaining strength and lifted himself from the bed. 
Leaning against the wall, he slowly made his way out of the bedroom. And with even greater effort, gripping the railing with both hands, he crawled down the stairs. With labored breath, he leaned against the door frame, gazing into the kitchen. Were it not for death's agony, he would have thought himself already in heaven. For there spread out upon waxed paper on the kitchen table were literally dozens of pizzadas. Was it heaven or was it one final act of heroic love from his devoted wife of 60 years, seeing to it that he left his world a happy man? Mustering one great final effort, he threw himself towards the table, landing on his knees in a rumpled posture. His parched lips parted. The wondrous taste of the gizada was already in his mouth, seemingly bringing him back to life. The aged and withered hand trembled on its way to a gizada. At the edge of the table when it was suddenly smacked with a dutch pot by his wife move your backside she said then me after your funeral One day, big boy go to school and the teacher say everybody for draw something. So when the teacher look on everybody drawing, the teacher say, good, good. Then when it reached the big boy, he come up and the teacher did a look on the paper and say, but big boy, I'm not seeing nothing, I'm going to see one like that. So here big boy, in no. Yes, teacher is a pain, but it's far out. You can't see it. This boy, when I walk on the road and I carry like him down, he when I bleed and he did knock out. Somebody say, Get the boy some sugar and water now. The boy get up and say, Get me some bun and cheese too. One night, a man was relaxing, watching TV when out of the kitchen comes his wife with a pan. Puff, I own him, Sheila, asked the wife. Missy, this paper you in your pocket with the name Sheila upon it. Who is she? The man rubbing his head back said, Me and Richie did down at the racetrack today, and at this I name you the horse or we bet pan. How are you? So the wife apologized, kissed his head back, and went back to her chores. Fifteen minutes later, the wife storms out of the kitchen again. Poof! Bam! Awadio! shouted the husband. And the wife shouts back, Your horse up on the phone!